the worst thing you can happen with a girl is she gets bored. Because when a girl gets bored, she starts looking for a more exciting option. What we want to share with you today is this one secret, this one little trick, this one thing you can do that's going to tell you how a girl feels about you. Whether she wants to kiss you, ask her out. This one trick, it works on 99.9% .9 of girls and it is going to tell you exactly what you want to know. It's going to tell you exactly how she feels about you. Yeah, before we get to that though, right, I, I don't want to jump in here because Rule number one, do not ask the girl out. Whenever we like a girl, right? We, like, we, we talk about her to her friends. Maybe we go, oh, this girl from work, we've been flirting. I don't know what she feels about me. Or my ex-girlfriend is kind of back in the picture. Or, I don't really know what's going on. Or I'm in the friend zone with this girl. And, you know, we, we, we kind of flirt. I think she likes me. And your friends are always going to go, just ask her out. What's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? Or, you know, you gotta, you gotta let her know how you feel, right? Yeah. Worst fucking advice in the world. And I'll tell you why. First off, what's the worst that can happen? It's not that she rejects you, right? Because we can all suffer a rejection and move on. The worst that could happen is that you find out that she actually did like you. She actually wanted to go out with you, but you blew it because you couldn't play it cool because you thought, I have to let her know how I feel. I have to ask her out. And there's a game involved, right? And the game needs to be there. You've got to, it's, it's sort of like getting a fish on, on, on the hook. And if you pull it in too fast, you're going to freak it out. And that's where most guys mess up, right? I was guilty of this. We let our emotions take over and we, f we come on too strong too soon. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. And a lot of people, you know, whenever we do these videos and we look in the comments, we'll see people that say, oh, why play games? I don't, I don't like playing games. Why not just be yourself? And that's all well and good if you're a Disney character or you live in some fantasy land. But fact is, is that dating is a game. And the game exists. And whether you like it or not, you can either play by the rules and win, or you can just pretend the game doesn't exist. And, yeah. you know, and, you know, and that's where a lot Listen, of guys end up lonely. I don't like games. Rob doesn't like games, right? Nobody likes games. But you got to play them. Yeah, I like know? girls. I like, <laughs> yeah. Girl. Yeah, like, I like girls more. For a more. long time, I sat around going, I'm not, this is stupid. I'm just, if, if I like her, I should just let her know, right? And meanwhile, I, I was going, why is this guy getting laid? Why is this, why are all these other guys doing well and getting the hot chicks and I'm either like not getting anybody or settling for some mean chubby girl? And it's because the game is there for a reason. It adds excitement. Women want you to play the game. You're not being sneaky. You're not being like, you know, the way I describe it like this, right? Is if you're watching a movie and you know the end of the movie before the movie starts. If you know the end of the movie in the first five minutes, there's no reason to keep watching the, the movie, right? You're like, ah, this is boring. I know what's gonna happen. And that's how most of us, right, as guys, we're that predictable movie when we meet a girl. Within a date, she already knows he wants to be my boyfriend, this guy likes me. And then her mind starts wondering. Because when the worst thing, I mean, girls, the worst thing you can happen with a girl is she gets bored. Because when a girl gets bored, she starts looking for a more exciting option. Yeah, that, that is great. I never, I never thought about it like that, but it's almost like, you know when people um, are talking about a movie and they're like, spoiler alert or whatever, and then, and then you know, you, if you haven't seen the movie, you cover your ears. It's like, you're giving her the spoiler. You're, you're not even giving the spoiler alert. You're just telling the end of the movie and then you're, you're ruining all the fun and the experience of actually going through and watching this movie and not being sure how it ends. You know, when, when you're too predictable, when you're just going out and asking a girl out, buying her gifts, to making all these common mistakes that most guys make, What's gonna end up happening is that it's like you're ruining that movie, that cinematic experience for her. Yeah, a lot of n nice guys take a lot of heat, right? You always say nice guys finish last or uh, don't be a nice guy. I mean, I'm, it's the number one piece of advice both of us give, don't be a nice guy. But what makes a nice guy so unattractive to women is not the fact that he's got a good heart, right? Me and Rob, I, I have a good heart, he's got a good yeah, heart. Yeah, we're, making this video. We're good guys, mm. nice guys, lose over and over again because they're predictable, they're boring, they're afraid to make a girl put in effort, right? We think as guys, if, if I cancel a date with a girl, she's not gonna like me, right? Or if I don't text her back right away, she's gonna not like me. But in reality, it's that moment when a girl is waiting for you to text her back. It's that moment when she freaks out because you call her up and say, I'm not gonna be able to hang out today where she starts going, oh my God, what's going on? I really like this guy. It's kind of like, I, me and Rob always talk, right? When you come on too strong, 
she starts looking for all the reasons to disqualify you, right? Ah, oh, I don't know if I like him. Like the minute she knows that she's got you, right? We always say, uh, you know, once a girl knows she has you, it's over. And the reason it's because once a girl knows I have him, now she starts focusing on all the reasons why you might not be right. Cause she doesn't want to make the wrong decision. But the longer she's kind of chasing you and working for you, all her mental energy is in focusing on all your good qualities. Exactly. That's the thing that you want her focused. You want, you want, like you should be on her mind all the time. You know, when she is on Google, she should be Googling, why did he do this? Why didn't he, why did it take him, you know, this long to text back? Or why did he text me this? Like she should be the one who's, you know, the hamster wheel in her head should be spinning because the more she's thinking about you, the more attracted she's becoming to you. Yeah, we always say a girl doesn't fall in love with you when she's with you. She falls in love with you when she's away from you thinking about you, right? And if there's a girl right now in your life, um, a female friend, you know, a waitress, somebody like we mentioned earlier, that you're kind of not sure what she thinks about you. Part of your attraction to her is that not knowing, the mixed signals. And as guys, we don't wanna, you know, we're always like, oh, I can't send mixed signals because then she might run off into the arms of another guy. But what happens is it's the opposite. When you come on strong, maybe you've had this happen where you were like the perfect boy, perfect boyfriend to a girl, or you, you, you projected yourself as this perfect guy, and then you find out like she's blowing some asshole in the parking lot, you know? You know what the hell happened? I mean, listen, I, it's, I was there. It sucked in, yeah, the I, I TGI Friday's yeah. parking lot. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, we talked about it in the beginning uh, of the test that you can give, right? And we're gonna give the test in a second, but the important thing is before you even worry about whether or not you're in, whether or not, is to create the strong desire in her to kiss you, to be with you, to capture her attention and get you thinking about her. Because if you ask a girl out before she's ready, she's gonna go, oh, I have him, now I don't know if I want him, right? Because now she knows, now she's like, oh, he wants to go out on a date with me. Hmm, what if it gets awkward? But on the other hand, you're in a, a uniquely good position right now because now you have the ability to start playing the game before she knows your intention, right? And Rob and I created a little bit longer of a video. You can click the link below. Uh, we invented something called the uh, Scrambler, which is a mind game, right? And if you're going mind game, uh, bear with us, right? This is the movie the woman wants to see played out in her dating life, right? When she imagines what's going to be, she may say, like when you, when you talk to a girl, she may go, I want a guy who like opens doors for me. I want a guy who like is romantic and uh, I don't want a guy who plays games. She may say that, but pay attention to who she actually dates, right? Who she, who, who's the guys that are actually, you know, that's not what they want. That's what, that's like lip service. It's like going, you know, I want to, I want sustainable energy. Like it's, it sounds good to yeah, say, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. it's politically correct. No girl's going to go, I want a guy that strings me along and he like, makes me jealous, and, but that's what they want. And the video below will teach you exactly how to do it, right? And once you do it, here's, here's the trick, right? Here's how you know, we teach you something called the scrambler. And here's how you know it works, right? Very simple trick. When you're talking to her, when you guys are hanging out, right? Say something, anything, anything that she says, right? Maybe you go, oh, the Yankees won. And she's like, I love the Yankees. And you high five her, grip her fingers, right? As you high five her and see, if she's attracted and ready to kiss you, she's gonna let her hand linger there for a few seconds, right? She's gonna want to make that physical contact. If on the other hand, she pulls it away right away, it means that you have to keep going. You gotta do a little bit more of this game that we're gonna teach you in the video below. So check out the video, leave a comment, let us know what you think.